Don't sigh at me, I just suffered. Oh, you fucking made me suffer. We both suffered. The fuck do I even say? I mean, like... There really aren't any... Or at least there are very few good horror remakes. There are some, but... This is the worst of the worst. The mid-2000s were a bad time. Might have been the worst horror remake. Probably was the worst horror remake I've ever seen. I wouldn't go that far, but it's bad. I don't know. What do you think is worse? Uh, oh, fuck. I can't think right now. I, my brain is liquid. Black Christmas, also known as Black Xmas, because that's actually how this one was stylized. Excellent, of course it is was. It's a 2006 remake of the original Black Christmas, directed by Glenn Morgan. It stars Katie Cassidy, Michelle Trachtenberg, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. And it tells literally the same story as the other one, but worse. In every way. Yep. The 2019 remake is better, flat out. It's n nowhere near this garbage. I haven't um, seen the 2019 one. You don't even one. need to. You can. I can tell you for a fact it is better than this. I was going to say, I, I don't think it's possible to be worse than this. So, this movie fucking sucks. Like... Oh, hey, cat. This was unbearable to watch. Hello. There was just a cat clawing at my knee. Yeah, she's, she's just looking for attention. Uh, this movie took all of the themes of the first one and Threw them out the window. ignored them or flat out reversed them. Yep. I complained in the last video that the la the original didn't explain quite enough. This one almost took that like a challenge and over explained every little detail. Every single character in this movie speaks purely in exposition in the most unbearably forced way possible. I want to meet someone in real life who speaks in mid 2000s horror exposition. Hey, you know, I used to live in this house, and someone died there. Oh, really? Yeah. Where was this house that someone died in? It's this one we're living in right now. Whoa. When did this person die in this house that you're living in right now? You know, when I was six years old. So, six years old, was that 1990? It was right before my sister was born, and she and I have a really rocky relationship, and so... So, we're gonna play a game. The main character of this movie, Kelly, played by Katie Cassidy, who, um, you know, I love Katie Cassidy. I, I'm a fan of Arrow. I've a, I'm a fan of her work in pretty much everything she's been in. Um, she's basically the Jess stand-in of this movie. Yeah. Tell me one thing about her character. She's an only child. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, seriously, no, like... One single thing. There's nothing to her character. Well, she's an only child. That is her character. They said that on like 19 different occasions, that she is an only child. That is the defining characteristic it's, of her character. <sighs> okay, we're, we're, we're kind of aimless right now, but because it's just, there's so much to tackle. So let's just, I'm going to pull it back. What did, what did you like about this movie? Is there anything? No. I will say that I like that there's a movie that managed to get Andrea Martin and Katie Cassidy and Michelle Trachtenberg and Mary Elizabeth Winstead and uh, Gretchen Wieners from Mean Girls all in the same film. No. They're, they're in it together. That's a tr that, that is an objective fact. I like them. It wasn't a bad cast, but that doesn't mean they were good in this. I don't think it's their fault. It's Harvey Weinstein's fault. Like, actually. The whole ending of this movie, the whole shit at the hospital, that was reshoots that he demanded. I'm not saying it would have been okay if they didn't do that. It wouldn't have been, but... It, it certainly... The movie ended and then there's another 15 minutes. And then it ends. Harvey Weinstein just ruins everything. For some reason, there's a fetish for eyeballs in the movie. There sure is. Everything has to do with removing people's eyeballs or eating people's eyeballs. Where that is in the source material, I don't fucking know. There's like no gore in the source material. There isn't, although I think that was probably a budget thing. Probably. But, but also stylistically, like, it, it works. You could, There could have been more gore in the original and that would have been fine, but this is just so over the top and unnecessary. So the original is something I classify as a slow burn. Uh, this is not at all. 
In fact, it is um, absurdly poorly paced. In fact, the first kill happens in the first 30 seconds of the film. And by um, the first two minutes, you've had enough exposition for an entire movie. Th yeah, this movie goes the Rob Zombie route with Billy, uh, in that it gives him a ridiculous amount of backstory, a lot of which is kind of hinted at in the original, like I was saying, but it takes it to disgusting levels that are ridiculously offensive and also super unnecessary. Uh, because, you know, like, the original Black Christmas... It was missing incest and rape, right? That was totally something it needed. And I definitely, in the original, needed a scene to show that Billy is a sexual creature. Yeah. That's... Yeah. You needed, you needed a scene of uh, Billy's mom and then it, uh... sexually assaulting him as a child. That's necessary. It's not in there for the sake of shock value and edginess at all. Yeah, and then the date rape scene later on was definitely in it for the same reason. Yeah, not shock value. yeah. Hey, remember how in the original, like, it's about, like, women fighting back against, like, you know, the domineering presence of, like, male anger and, you know, patriarchal, you know, whatever? Yeah, this one's about women fighting amongst themselves, like, you know, stereotypical sorority sisters do, wacky women, Hollywood. Women fighting amongst themselves, uh, hey, let's make the killer, or one of them, a woman. Billy's sister Agnes, who in the original is implied to be dead, is alive now, and is killing people, and she's a monster with one eye, and Billy's mom is an abusive rapist. Because all of this is, like... Totally necessary and added to the plot. Yeah. You know, it's funny, because, like, the original portrayed, like, the horrors of violence against women. And this one seems Fetishized it. Yeah. Yeah. Really, like, and just awful. And I just want to talk for a second. There was a subplot in this about... I wasn't even super clear the, if it was revenge porn or if this guy was uploading porn by himself, but what was the point of that? What did that yeah. add? So Kelly's boyfriend um, had sex with one of the other sorority sisters, and it was posted somewhere, and Kelly is mad about this, even though it seems like it was pre-her being in the picture, and someone else uploaded the video, supposedly. Again... I don't know if this is true. It was a poorly fleshed out subplot that somehow also took up like eight minutes of screen time. Like, I guess it could have been like he was lying to her, but the movie never bothers to explain or care. Or bring it up ever again, even yeah. though his character does come back later on. Like, it's... Yeah. It was just a waste of screen time. It did nothing. Also, can we talk about the fact that since it's then revealed that Agnes is also killing people, Agnes, a... a frail 20 something year old woman somewhere in that range is inbred um yanks a fully grown man up into the attic by his head upwards um how i i don't know maybe that's what it meant by like strong women literally she's strong i don't think harvey weinstein and co thought about strong women for one fucking second of this film you're probably right <laughs> Jesus Christ. This movie sucked. It really is like, it is the embodiment of everything wrong with the mid-2000s, like, slasher remake trend that happened. If you need, like, a picture-perfect image of why they were all, like, not good, with, there are exceptions, but, like, why the horror remakes are generally looked down upon, this is a good example of that. Can we just talk about how, like, ridiculous the kills are, too? Like, they're just over the top. A fucking candy cane being stabbed Here's into the someone, thing. an icicle falling to kill someone. I don't have a problem with ridiculous over-the-top kills if the movie is... I'm turning. Shit. <laughs> Stop. No, if, it, if it's ridiculous over-the-top, that's fine. If the movie's self-aware about it, but this movie seems to want to take itself seriously, and in a film that includes, like, child rape, maybe don't go for the crazy, zany, over-the-top, Evil Dead-esque kills. This is... This is not good and it's not self-aware it's tone deaf it's tasteless it wasn't entertaining not at all like i, I think i turned to you to, like 
towards the end, I was like, I can make a drinking game out of this movie with how fucking tropey and repetitive it is, but I wouldn't want to. I never want to watch this again. And then the ending of the movie is complete fucking nonsense. Spoiler alert. Uh, so Billy and Agnes both somehow survive being burned to death and are taken to the morgue, but are somehow still alive and tricked the, the, the EMTs and coroners. And then they just get killed again in the hospital and Billy gets thrown on top of a Christmas tree and impaled. Oh, because... by the way, I meant to ask, when does this movie take place? To th uh, uh, Is it Christmas? Oh, yeah. Did they tell us it was Christmas? I think it was Easter. That's why they came back! <laughs> Black Christmas 2006 is a garbage fire. It's a fucking garbage fire. It it's, has no redeeming qualities. It, it really does. It has the redeeming qualities of attractive people on screen. I don't know that I would call that a redeeming quality. It wasn't, but I had something to look at for an hour and a half. It's true of every movie. You're correct. Don't watch it. It's bad. I'm upset that I watched it. You paid money for it. Please don't talk to me. Harvey Weinstein, I'm happy you're going to prison. Is he? I don't think so. But I, I can dream. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Click the thing. Be like them. Uh, you did this to him and by proxy me, and for that I will never forgive you. Do yourselves a favor and watch the 2019 movie instead. Or the original. Uh, Here, like, like, real quick, ranking, original, 2019, space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar, this one. I haven't seen 2019, you don't need to. but it's original, good. 2019, I'm not even going to say this one exists. You better watch out. No. You better no. watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out.